Welcome everybody to London, where I've come to test an all-round supercar. It's a Porsche 911 killer, the Audi R8. But, in a recent, not too distant part, it has been made completely useless because of the new Nissan GTR. And there's a good reason for that. I mean, they're both tiny, they both are pretty fast, and they both you can both use them every day, and they both have four wheel drive. But the GTR grips better, and as the engine in the front, so you have a big, huge boot, and two more seats than you get in the R8. Then there's the sound of the GTR. The GTR is more quiet at low speeds and nicer at high speeds. I mean, I'm not going to say that it is rubbish when you're using town, but the GTR is just better and it is way way cheaper, 50 grand cheaper in fact, in Euros there. Now, at both speeds, I won't get into that shouty at all. But the sound it does make when you put your foot down, is so cocky. Then there's the interior. The GTR is a nice place to be. This is just another ad. I mean, it is brilliant quality, but it's an ad. In the GTR, you look at that nice GTR badge, and this, you look at an Audi badge. And then there's the way the GTR looks. It is like out of planet and out this may well look brilliant but honestly go I prefer the GTR then there's the GTR's launch control system with that on you can go from 0 to 60 in three and a half seconds this will struggle to get from 0 to 60 in four and a half seconds I'm not saying it's slow or anything, but it's just not as fast as the GTR. So, the R8 is less practical than the GTR. I think the GTR is better looking and it's slow. But, I'm nitpicking here because the R8 is a sense. When you really put your foot down, you feel the sensation of that V8 wants to play. It is always ready to play. That I'm mocking, it isn't as good as the GTR is like saying, mm. That pizza from the new company is as good as the best pizza in the world. That's like saying a McLaren SLR isn't as fast as a Bugatti Veyron. It's not relevant.
but obviously the Gaiara is more delicate to drive, it's better looking as well. The Gaiara is way better than this as well, but again, that's not really relevant because this is a new class on its own. I don't think it's even to compete with the Porsche 911 because that is just a Volkswagen Beetle running suit. This is way more exciting than a Porsche. Because it's mid-engine. You can actually see the engine. At least I can see it. You see it just behind the back window. You see a couple of things and that's the engine. That front, there is easily enough space for a good shopping day. Now, there are more exciting cars for, um, for the same time, like a Ferrari 430 or Lamborghini Gallardo. But those two, the Gallardo costs twice as much. R8. If you buy the R8 standard, because almost all the luxury sat nav, auto box, uh, everything is an optional extra, and the Ferrari is even more expensive than the Lamborghini. So this might be not the best supercar, not the best handling car, not the fastest, not the most practical, but it is. Really is a sensational car.